I, I seriously believe that the Ghana opportunity is is almost limitless at this moment. I mean, we have bauxite, we have oil and gas, we have iron ore, we have lithium, um, and I mean, we have manganese. So we do have quite a significant amount of mineral resources which we haven't even exploited yet. And so for, for me, um, that is not even just the, the limit of it. Because we have the 1D1F, which is a fantastic opportunity for investors, both internally and externally. We have our railways, which is a 21 billion project. If you look at all the 4,000 um, kilometers that we want to build, you look at our roads, which is about 10,000 kilometers that we want to build. So for us at GIPC, I, I still maintain that we should target um, um, for 2020, we still still target 10 billion for the year. We may not reach it. I mean, I, I can tell you that um, there's just one oil and gas project which is now being registered, which is in the area of 10 billion. Um, and it's got local people in it. Um, but there are other opportunities coming up. Now, some of these projects that we see, unfortunately, um, the gestation period is normally longer than a year. So by the time you actually write it to your books, it's gone beyond a year. But we do the initial work. And um, investment is not like going to the market and just buying tomatoes. You first, of of, of, first of all, of course, you need to do the country pitch. Then you need to look at the opportunity. Then the investor is going to come, come and check, do his due diligence and go back. And so it takes a while to actually build it. But what we haven't done very well and now we are going to do is um, there are already investors in Ghana who sometimes reinvest. They add additional investment and we are not capturing all that. But apart from that too, um, as we've understood now, um, the investment doesn't necessarily have to be the cash or the equipment that we bring. And working as I am now the... Um, the director for Sub-Saharan Africa and the World Association of Investment Promotion Agencies. And we realize that a lot of African countries do not even capture their FDI well. In many other countries, they capture FDI including projects that are approved by the government. So if you have a project that says, okay, my project is going to be five billion, I may not spend all the five billion that year, but once it's, a, it's registered, you look at their project analysis and it says, yes, this is how much it's going to cost you. That is recorded as foreign direct investment.